Evening, gents. Apologies, a couple of minutes late there. Can anyone hear me? Yep. Yeah. Good. Mm -hmm. Just down there, got some guys connecting. Go up with that. Just give me one more minute then. I think we're pretty much mostly here, so we'll um, we'll go through the announcements. Uh, just a couple of things from me. Firstly, um, D8 pack. Last time you'll need it is for this Sunday. This is going to be the uh, deployment ceremony. So we finally made it all four weeks. Uh, it's been a great deployment. So um, I really appreciate everyone's work and effort and I hope um, everyone had uh, a lot of fun within the deployment as well I know I did and uh, another thank you to uh, Helios we'll do all the proper thank yous on on Sunday for the deployment ceremony but D8 pack this weekend after which you can delete that off we won't need that again um, because we won't be using it again uh, reminder about nominations for awards and merits please make sure you are passing these to your section leaders Section leaders, can I please have the lists by Saturday just so they can be authorised uh, and finalised so that we can do any merits and ribbons that uh, that we need on Sunday itself. So please have all that stuff in by Saturday just so we can give it a once over uh, before, um, before Sunday. Lastly from me, there is a Gambler NCO meeting straight after training today in the uh, meeting room. So please, if you are a Gambler NCO uh, and you are here today and you have time, it won't take too long. Uh, but if you have time, please join us after training. Uh, that is at 9 o'clock uh, UK time, uh, just for a quick uh, Gambler NCO meeting. Uh, NCOs only, please. Uh, that's it from me, so I'm going to pass over to the other sections, starting with uh, Gambler. Team. Just welcome back to True Gangler and Wilhelm. Just yeah, welcome back, guys. Come back here, yeah. And I th think, do we have some recruits today? Yeah, we do. Yes, then, perfect. Welcome to those guys as well. Should be fun BCT tonight. Yeah, welcome yeah. guys. If you want to find Tay, once we uh, fall out from the line and uh, he'll assign you on to uh, BCT with either himself or Helios or appoint someone else. So just find him after we fall out. Uh, Jammer. I think it's Jammer. No one else this one. Copy that. And... Uh, He's a Vegas. Can't hear you, Caesar. Only one announcement. Selections open. Message me on TeamSpeak, Steam, or forums for details. Thanks. Copy that. Reminder, if you are going for a section, make sure you clear it with your, uh, your current um, uh, commanding officer. That's it, uh, free training today, so everyone is doing their own thing. Uh, unless there is anything else from anyone, have a great training, and we'll meet back here at uh, 10 just for a quick debrief. That's it, fall out, guys, have a good training. Arrow? Yes, sir. Arrow on me, just a second. Arrow, was that? Arrow, yep. yep. Right. There is still some guy in the channel. Mr. Flippy. That was from the Northeast. Are you joining us tonight, dude? Yeah, certainly. Awesome. Um, okay, so... Uh, just get your voice to chill out for a second.
Your game girl, or are you, uh... Thomas? Yep, yep. Oh, okay, yeah. you got it. It's been a while. <laughs> <laughs> I have to sort out all my ace stuff as well, and it's gonna be a fucking nightmare. Get it back to the way I wanted it. Get rid of one of these. What are you doing? <laughs> You're fucked. Oh, come on. What's the um, ice menu? Uh, left windows and control left windows for self and right, there you go. Radio stuff. Oh, it's been a long time since I've had two radios. Cool. I mean, it's training. I used to have three at one point. That was So what's the what's the plan? Plan is we learn how to do engineer and medic stuff. Okay. So that anyone can be a medic or an engineer, and then from there, after we finish that. We can decide. Sounds good. <clears throat> See if I have the medic menu. I think I do. Yes, it. When you use the medical menu, you can get uh, numbers for heart rate and blood pressure. I cannot remember what I bound it to. Where's the option for it? What's it under? It's just self interact. Oh, that that menu. All right. Yeah. <laughs> I guess the first thing you can do is casualty reaction. Like someone goes down, they don't get back up. Okay. Uh, Diamond, can you go get a sick coyote? Will do. Charlie does it. Yeah, I think you guys are going to the wrong one. <coughs> Just testing, see if you know this. <laughs> Take us to uh, the military compound, let's just to the east. Okay. One six zero. One seven zero. Let me find that. Okay. Pull us in there.
are in a low. <coughs> so, uh... What's... Diamond, have you run as medic? I've never played as medic, no. Okay. Gangrel? No. I ain't got the confidence to. I'll kill too many people. <laughs> okay. But you guys know how to, like, fix yourselves, right? Yeah, yeah. 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 We just, just I just, I just, yeah, I just don't know how to, like, do like, uh, drips and shit like that. Okay. I guess the, uh... The scariest thing about being a medic if you've never, like, done it is someone goes unconscious and you have to, like, wake them up and stuff. And there's a... Oh no, I'm website. unconscious. <laughs> just, you just pour water on their face or process. something like that. And, uh, so Walker is unconscious right now. He's... We're in, uh... We're, Someone we're kicked not him in, in the combat. the true effect. So, uh... <laughs> Diamond, talk us through what you think you should do. Um... Well... I think it's had to do with the EpiPen, is that it? I think the... the... Am I wrong? Come on. Uh, I think I'm wrong. I mean, well, it doesn't... There. Well, you got well, to take his first. Okay. Right, right well, I'd say... So, like, sorry, what are you going to say? Three stages. Diagnose, stabilize, bring round. Okay? Find out what's wrong with him. Work out what is the most important thing that is going to screw them up the worst. Get them stable to the point where get any worse and then you can try and bring them round. Remember people have to be free of pain to before they wake up again. If their heart rate or blood pressure is too low then you won't be able to bring them round regardless and you'll either have to get the squad medic to give them saline or you'll have to get the platoon medics in. So basically also heart rate can be too high. Yeah. Go on the but that's rare. Pretty so sure. it kind of just clears up EpiPen decreases heart, decreases heart rate, rate. morphine yeah. lowers heart rate. Okay. Yes. And decreases pain. Decreases pain. So, someone goes down with a few scrapes and bruises, um, but then multiple large revulsions on their leg. What do you do, Diamond? What do you do first? Um, tourniquet the legs, and then treat them with bandages. Um, yeah. So you tourniquet, whatever you can tourniquet. Treat anything that's on a body part that can't be tourniqueted, so torso or head. Treat them first, because you can't stop the blood loss from them. Then treat the limbs. Once each limb is treated, remove the tourniquet if that's you. Any of them. Then, once all wounds are bandaged up, then you start looking at heart rate and their um, blood pressure. Because they're not getting any worse from this point. You can treat them without being about it. So yeah. There's no this point in risking your life to, a secure to kneel over a guy. I take it Nelson's no longer part of our group then. No, he's the biggest medic. Bastard. Best medic I knew was. <laughs> uh, Mate, the guy lived for it, I swear. Do you know, Lau was pretty good. I think Lau used to be the team medic. He, um. He, he used to send a link out to everyone with like like a chart of all the different types of injuries you can have and what to do. It has a reference sheet. Yeah, it's still a thing. It's just uh, elastic bandages and packing bandages do basically the same thing. Right. And now, so that just leaves basic bandages to get like all cuts. And uh, quick clots are just inconvenient for the most part. No, okay. Definitely need a refresher. All the like keys have just left my head. Okay, so uh, Lock, you do want to go unconscious and then keep a reason to yourself until he checks for it. What? Like, you've been shot. Right. Why don't we just go like behind the barricades and like, pop me somewhere and get it over with? 
<laughs> Wait, are, are you implying that I would kill you with my medical treatment? Just, just, just shoot him in the leg. Just shoot him in the leg. Keep still. Stop moving. <laughs> 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 are you ready? Fuck's sake. Are we actually are we actually shooting locked? <laughs> On three. Looks like it. One. <laughs> yes. You guys are fucking right. awful. They are sick he's injuries. Alright, am I am I right. checking them? Alright. Okay. He's bleeding, so I'll take it, he's injured. Walk through what you're doing. Okay, uh, so he has a wound in the left leg, um, which I am tourniquet. So I'm applying a tourniquet. So now he has a velocity wound and two large vulgens, so I will apply an elastic bandage. Right, so how do you bring it up on someone else? I'm having an issue. Let's press H. Also that. Uh, so he still has wounds, so I will now apply a packing bandage. Yeah, height oh. change. <laughs> you can see the list of wounds on the right side. There's still one large avulsion you need to patch up. And I will apply an elastic bandage. Yeah. Elastics and packing for any of those. Okay, all wounds are bandaged, so I am removing the tourniquet. I will ask the patient if he is in pain. Locter, are you in pain? Yes. Wait, actually, no. What? I mean, he says he's in pain, but what's a good way to measure if he needs morphine? Like, is there a rule or something white like that? White flashes. If the white flashes are genuinely going, uh, you can't tell from your end. Like, yeah. Usually, if they've been knocked unconscious, you bandage them and they don't come round, then they need morphine. Okay. So, but in this instance, let's say. Would I say, Lockter, do you want morphine? Would I ask uh, him it? Yeah, you just ask if they need morphine, right. and the reply would be yes, because I'm going to have an epileptic fit if you don't give me <laughs> Okay, do, do you want <laughs> morphine then? I'll give you morphine. Right, I'm going to have to sort out my ace keys, because uh, everything's it's default, so H doesn't work. Okay, morphine can't applied. Even, I can't even access his uh, right. menu. I'm all good. So, would I... Checks. Check now, his heart rate and stuff. Now you check heart rate, blood pressure, and see if anything right. else needs to happen. Now that they are stable and combat affective. Okay, so you have. Like now I don't actually know what the value. Like your blood pressure is 101 over 68. I don't know if that's good or bad. Like, is it that high or low? What's the? It should be 120 over 80. 120 over 80. 120 over 80 is like the the go-to. Like that's the baseline. Okay. As long as you're 20 either side of that, you should be fine. Okay. Um, so I'm just inside the threshold, like, Oops, and they, they can tell you if it's, uh, if they have, like, a grey screen, okay. if they need blood. And you have a heart rate so of you, 57. You lose the color. And what, and then what is the, like, the, the good heart rate? <laughs> What's, like, the best? Heart rate is good between 6 and 119. 46 and 119. Okay. Yeah. So you just say, you know, you've got a slightly lowered heart rate, um, you're slightly below normal blood pressure, but you should be able to, you know, you'll be fine, or whatever. But I would advise you seek further medical attention, wounds will reopen. Yeah, they already have. I think there's something wrong with your face as well. No, <laughs> nothing wrong at all. <laughs> Alright, yeah, I think that's reopened again. Oh, so your wounds are still reopening? Oh no. Yeah, they're all reopening constantly. Oh, well, I do not have the capability to assist. It's going down. Oh, pretty close. Oh. You good? Oh, my uh, interaction key's not working on anyone. Like, do you get the uh, red circle? I'll get enough. For left windows? Do you get like a menu that pops up or... 
Nope, I get nothing. Okay. Steve, can you check if there's a gamble medic nearby? It's patched me up so I don't have to like suicide and drive back. <laughs> One second, turn my 140 wake all the way down. Yeah, I'm looking at people and I'm not even getting any interaction when you're up by the press left windows. Up, Charlie. <laughs> Charlie, what the fuck? Gambler, cutlass, message over. Gambler, cutlass, requesting gambler medic, category green, grid one six zero one seven zero over. Just gonna be AFK for a sec, lads. Okie doke. Alright, we got someone coming in. Okay, so I guess we can do the engineer training next. <laughs> the, uh,. Don't have toolkit. Oh, we do. So you interaction with the wheel and move the wheel. Okay. Did you say you remove? Oh yeah, there. It's removed. Lead into death. Let's receive. Yes is the answer, Steve. Yes. <sighs> I'll just tourniquet the leg and be done with it. <laughs> so then you can interact with this and uh, carry it. What? Do not bump into it. It's cool. Don't hit people with it. Or don't hit people. Especially helicopters. Someone hit and a helicopter with a spare rotor blade, and the whole thing went up in flames. <laughs> you can just change the wheel, interacting with the wheel again. I think if I can get the angle. Yeah. But you need to have the toolkit in your inventory to do this. I don't think so, because I don't have one right now. All right. And engineer also has explosives. Where are we gonna go? Hello? First one is the uh, slam line, which is this thing. Okay. If you come up and interact with it, you can select a trigger. 
they're all basically intuitive. Also, if you have a uh, firing device, you can use that to touch them off. What's that? Alright, where are they? Hello. Uh, Lockter needs stitches. And we were wondering if I had any, like, uh... They all keep you. Okay, I'm just gonna pack this, get it over done with quickly. Admin files activated. Anything else, guys? I don't think so. Uh, so how do you do this? Was it a grenade or something? No, they shot me. Yeah. Medical Over training. You overstepped the line. Something like that. Medical training. I laid on on the floor and said, look at me, I'm unconscious. And that wasn't good enough for them. So they <laughs> shot me. Uh, Bastards. Right. Uh, just a future reference, there is a gamma medic currently being... So if you guys have a minor injury like that, take them over there. Okay? Well, they kept reopening. Like, I couldn't take three paces without them reopening, so I was slowly bleeding to death. But there's a truck over there. They took a wheel off it, they only just put the wheel back on. Okay, I'll show you. Take the hint, Doctor. <laughs> we're, we're obviously trying to get rid of you. <laughs> Alright, now less of that. Now come on now. We're professionals. And then there's also... Demolition block. Wait, sorry, to go back to the the slum, um, yeah. so you can you can detonate remotely and stuff, but, yeah. I mean, as the name is, it's a mine, I take it, somebody steps on it, it explodes as well, so way to set up to do that. Uh, it's anti-tank, so it needs magnetic influence or... Oh, I see, that's what that means. Okay, yeah. okay. And, I mean, what, can it take out, like, a, like a big heavily armoured tank? Is it capable of doing that? No. No? Is it mostly like, things like the Coyote and stuff? Yes, light medium armor. Okay. Let's say light armor. I don't think it can take out a tread. Okay. Oh, we have incoming. West. Oh, yeah, right. looks like... And then Engineer also has the entrenching tool. Yeah, that's to build the, the walls, isn't it? Right. So, through Gangrel, if you, uh, if you're there. If you're there, through Gangrel. I don't think he's here. Essentially, you just build a trench uh, is, I take out it, of the ground. Is it from the interaction menu that you do it? Yeah. Just yeah, like self-interaction or something. Self-interact, and then equipment, and then... Big, big trench or small trench. Okay. Also, repair vehicles if, like, the engine's broken, but I've never experienced that. Okay. And I don't know how to force that without the, uh... Explosion <laughs> happening. <laughs> I can always get locked through to test it. Look at them walls in. <laughs> a bit foreboding, isn't it? Like John yeah. Wayne. <laughs> <laughs> so we're still doing medical yeah, training. Is the, is the limp mod on? I'm sure it must be. So we're still doing medical training and we need a test subject, correct? <laughs> That's a good no. point. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I, I, I'm not sure if someone is high rank than me. Only low rank. <laughs> yeah, it's same. been a while, but it's going to be avoiding it. Shot me. Who shot who? <laughs> well, we need. You mean that one? <laughs> Gang will shot you? I can't blame him. I think I need a refresher on training to be totally honest with you, lads, because I've totally forgot everything about this. Yeah, it happens. Sorry. Um, this is we are here. Yeah. This is it. Is Zezek here tonight? Nope. Is this RG Stormtroopers? <laughs> Sometimes it's fun to make them run around in the desert trying to hide. Good luck to them. Thank you, Helios. Alright. So you can all practice on these guys now, rather than me. <laughs> <laughs>
Where's the fun in that? I mean, basically the same except they don't scream. Because we just some might shoot back though. Medical supplies. Need a box of medical supplies? Yep. Do you want to oh, shoot one in these yet, guys or? are medics, so that solves that. Yeah. Well, you okay. can't re- oh, no, not in the head. Yeah, you can't stand if you can't revive him once you've got a bullet through his brain. Mate, right, I've been shot in the head loads of times and I'm still walking around. I've got a bit of a twitch, but I'm fine. <laughs> I'll shoot their legs. Okay, hold on. Well, well right in the chest. Oh, you can kill them. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus! <laughs> you need to shoot once. There you go. That's one down. Point. Who's up this time? He's up. Right, he's bleeding. Of course he is. Medium avulsion to the chest. That's pretty impressive, a single large avulsion to the chest of that guy killed him. A large avulsion to the chest of the other one didn't. Yeah, I think this guy took two shots. Oh, did he? Oh, he's, yeah, he's been hit in the arm as well. Shit. Three. How'd you miss one from there? Maybe <laughs> it passed through the same hole. Yeah, well, we're gonna do a quick refresher for gang roll and just go over medical stuff now that we don't have Nelson. And then some planned assaults and stuff. So, like, you can pick a target and then, like, chat for it as a group and figure out like the best way of doing it. So there's only five of us so Yeah it could be out. Who is here? Uh me, Diamond, Steve, Stoimy and Gangle. No, no Oliver? Is it Darby and Oliver missing and who else? Nine. Nine, Nine LA. LA. Yeah last minute. Right, he's in pain, but he's uh, he stopped bleeding. Yeah, yeah so at this point, at this point, you'd ask him whether or not he needs morphine. But right. Do you he's need a... morphine? <laughs> well, I, I tell you what, we'll let you carry on. <laughs> <laughs> he's not responding. He's, he's not responding. There's something wrong with his life. <laughs> he's a machine. He doesn't feel. Are you in pain? I think we should amp up the injuries. Why don't we try mixing the explosive training and medical training by blowing them up? Well, I mean, like, if you back, if everyone backs up, I'll throw a grenade, and then you, we can have a mass casualty situation. Yeah, that, that's not a bad idea. I'd, I'm, I'd be up for doing something like that. Run, then. Yeah, Alright, the okay. Requires back up. <laughs> that's back not up. far enough. Come over here. I hope not. Yeah. Are they all dead? This guy's alive. Oh. Got a tourniquet on him. Oh. oh. You're too good, yeah, Lockjack. Still bleeding from the chest. Perfect grenade. They have multiple mass lacerations all the way up them. Got an elastic on his chest. Look at this guy's legs. <laughs> Threatening his uh, left leg. Elastic on his arm. What's for large emotion? Uh, elastic, we're packing. Elastic first. Wait, is normal? Up. So, there are some wounds that should be priority, which is the large wounds. Specifically so, avulsions, because they bleed like yeah, fucking Yeah, avulsions and cuts bleed like a motherfucker. Um, got a question. So, say you bandage a, a, a large avulsion with an elastic bandage and it then turns 
goes into like a smaller or medium evolution. They're fully It'll go into a partial. Sorry, okay, partial. Into a partial. Would you yeah. would you be fine like using partial. another elastic bandage, or would you then use usually usually yeah. you can finish off a partial with a quick uh, quick clot. Okay. They're the least useful bandage, really. Okay. Better basic basic bandage. Just yeah, basic well. or quick clot. No point wasting another like a packing or elastic. What well, is it like the equivalent partial. of like a band aid or something? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Like Field using it, using another packing package would be like the equivalent of like you know proper wrapping them up again. It's just a waste of equipment. Okay. Okay, so let's say these guys just took a grenade. Because there was infantry coming in the gate from like down there. So obviously, what to not die while you're treating. All right. Okay. Set up security, and then pull them back behind the cover. Yep. You want to have the casualty and yourself in a safe place, and you want to have, realistically, at least one member of the squad covering you. Um, to make sure that you don't get dropped while fixing people. Yeah. I mean. I don't know what to do about the near training that we can like repair vehicles. Nah, I think it's not I think we have to do it with it. Yeah. Could I practice setting off a bomb? If there's if if someone to spare. Like, so I've never I've never done it, so I don't really know exactly how to do it. So not just it's not just the desire to blow something up. I'll put some bombs in your backpack. Alright. Okay. So... Oh, this, guy, this guy's got no heart. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's dead. He's dead. So I've been don't banditing a dead guy. Great. What a waste of a <laughs> team. It's good practice. Yeah. Oh, uh, who's going to notify the next of kin? Because I ain't doing it. <laughs> well, he's in that position, he ain't comfy. Okay. Let's pick a target for the, uh, bomb. Uh, what about the portal to the toilet? Eh, uh, to the north. Where? See the... Like the toilets? Yeah. Okay. We can blow up a toilet. Yeah. Is there ever, ever with the toilets? Wait. You yeah. have to live yeah. to detonate a portal. <laughs> uh, Gangrel, do you have a M57 in your inventory? Firing I device? Not. I have a uh, M67. Uh, we need that. Let me check these guys, they might have explosives. I don't think they do. No, they don't. Okay, where do these guys come from? Was that? Well, the more popped up, is that like from the command or? Oh, yeah, so they have. Oh. Maybe they're, they're back from the dead to avenge their fallen comrades. Yeah, they're giving us more. Do you want to see if they'll drop a supply crate then? Some uh, charges in there. Uh, yeah.
Alright, we might get explosives. Oh, uh, Gango can give Diamond Dog your firing device. Well, a firing device, yeah? Yeah. M57 or something? Called? I ain't got an M57, I've got an M67 rag grenade. No? One of, guys, one of these guys on the floor have got a firing device. There you have one. How fast is it? I have. Okay, I found one. Seven defusal and also mine detector. It's in your um, backpack. Oh yep, yep. I've got I've got the firing device now. Go. Uh, Let's go and blow up the toilet. <laughs> yeah. On YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> now the uh, demolition blocks. They don't. Like grenades do. All right. Okay. So it's just like a classic Arma Three explosion. So uh, go ahead and place it. Okay. As <clears throat> an engineer as well, if you find enemy ammo caches and that, you will be using blocks to destroy. Well, let's so pretend this is an ammo thing. cache. All right. Okay. So I place the demolition block. Uh, yeah. Now is there a specific, I mean it's popped up and I can see it and place it, is there a specific way to do it or do I, do I just click, like on the ground just next to it? Just left click and then it'll fall into wherever. Okay. Right, so now do I need to interact with it? Yeah. Select the trigger, M57. The squads have like, um, mottos and sayings. Yeah. Like, but can no. we have one? Like yeah. I can make it like a fancy <laughs> banner and everything. Fuck a port to lose across it. <laughs> I planted it and it's explosive called one. We also need to be firm. firm. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay, let's well, let's move before I start playing around with the trigger. Just the to make sure. thing. Every, when you place the next explosive that you place, will give you an option to either have it on the same code or create a new code. All right, okay. So multiple blocks. So you can have like you can rig this entire compound on a single detonator code if you wanted. All right, okay. Or you could place half of it. Yeah, or you could place of it. You know, you could place like six explosives down the center of a road, every single one being on a different detonator, and detonate like stagger them. You know. Yeah, I'm with you. Okay. Anyway. Um. So I've under the explosives option, I have the M, the firing yeah. device. So yeah, bring the blue rain, mate. Bring all right. Blue okay. Blue I, I, all right, guys. The detonate all, and then. uh you want to be with your squad lead or 2IC so they can make sure that there's no friendlies like in the area. Alright, just to make sure that there's going to be an explosion. What I used yeah. to do is I communicate with like, my Did you check the squad leader it? to say that the, <laughs> the device is ready to go and he'll make yeah, sure everyone's fine. out. So. Okay. Alright, uh, Steve, device is ready to go. Alright, you clear? Okay, detonating in 3, 2, 1. <laughs> it's gone. Wee. Okay. God, I do have a piss. <laughs> Sorry, there's another one behind. Uh, yeah, so in these crates there's... Oh, lots of goodies in here. Oh, Just take the demo blocks. A couple demo blocks. Diffusal kit. Firing device. The M57. And I guess... Slam mine. So, slam mines we don't ever really use. Is the this demolition charge assembly, is that, is that like, a, a bad explosion? I have no idea. But, gambler, all we get is demolition blocks and... The slam. Okay. Slam mines. Okay. Have a stoimy. Yeah. You ready to blow something up? Mm -hmm. Well, up those uh, other toilets. <laughs> oh, 
fascination with blowing up bogs, isn't he? <laughs> Maybe he's a plumber in real life and he's just sick of the tire and... And clogging them every day. That's yeah. Where is your down? Dino rod. He works with dino rod, doesn't he? <laughs> <laughs> Tell you what, this new graphics card is the bollocks. Did you say you got a 1060? Yeah, I've got a 1060, yeah. <clears throat> And my old CPU decided to take a dump out an i7. Oh no. Yeah, it decided to shit itself and uh, what I was doing one day was just like just like fucking around in armour and uh, the computer kept restarting itself. I thought, what the fuck? So I was troubleshooting, I went, maybe the CPU's running out, running hot and that's why it's restarting. <clears throat> when I checked the button in the BIOS, the temperature of the CPU was running about 180 degrees. <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> yeah, I know, I couldn't believe it, and it totally <laughs> fucked the CPU, and the motherboard was like red hot, and I was like, oh, for fuck's sake. So I had to get new motherboard, new CPU, and new graphics card. What a nightmare. Uh, yeah, yeah well, I, I, I took the opportunity to build a new rig, so, you know. Yeah, it's, yeah I need to do 20, 25 meters usually picks it up. Well, these road textures are so bad. Some block already. Alright, detonate. Detonation in one, two, three. Explosion. Hey, hey! Fuck you, Potterloo! <laughs> <laughs> Gangrel? Yeah. Blow something up? Sure. Uh, should I put something up bigger, like one of these cabins? So uh, just pick something. So for a, a bigger target, like the those little buildings and things, would you need to place more than one? I uh, don't know, it's different, because, like, the hitbox can change, so the building can take more or less damage. Okay. Sort of randomly.
tell me the explosive is set. Uh, yep, um, expose set and ready to blow it on your word. Alright, detonate. Give a brief countdown or just. Detonating three. Wait a moment and then do it. Detonating in three, two, one. <laughs> Fuck, I should have put two down. There it is. <laughs> Building's not destroyed. I always need a bigger bomb, don't I? Well, I think two would take it out, because yeah, yeah. change the skin. Yeah, I can see that. Make it look damaged. Anyone else up? Or do you want to go and finish the job? Uh, you just gotta do it again. I guess we can go over the, uh... Flame vines. Okay. Like actually set them up. The function, and then we can just defuse those. It's uh, only the. God damn it. What? Whatever spot the uh, Oliver is in. The grenadier. The grenadier, yeah. That's only the grenadier who can uh, defuse the bombs. Uh, I think. It used to be the, with the <coughs> It used to be um, grenadier that used to do all this stuff. Yeah. It's like the grenadier's load, like workload, they kind of like split the job up between the engineer and the, the grenadier. So I think the grenadier can still do it if he has the kit, but if he doesn't, you know, if the engineer goes down, he can like revive said kit and do his job. I think the game never... thinks we are all engineers. Okay. Ilya oh. set that up. So mm -hmm. if we have a kit on this slot, or a defusal kit, sorry, we'll be able to defuse. So, the engineer has everything the other guy has? Yeah, the engineer the has all effect. the demolition stuff, I think, and the, uh, I'm not sure if he has the defuse. What I have a defuse mine kit. Detector. Mine detector... I don't think so. So if uh, Oliver should die, the engineer should get up. The, uh... Yeah, that would be good. I'll right, be um, dealing with explosives. Damage already. Okay. Detonate. Detonate in three, two, one. This fire? That's what the <laughs> wife said. <laughs> Detonating in three, two, one. Hey! Do you usually give your wife a three second warning. <laughs> Building's destroyed. Yep. Okay. Now, do we all have uh, the mines? Yeah, I've got I've got slam main, yeah, and uh, defuse okay, kit. Uh, use this road as the example then. I don't have any. Be right back. Okay, so there's. You can detonate them like you would a uh, demolition. Or you can set them up to automatically blow up. So you place it on the side of the road and then select the IR sensor. It'll sit there and if anything drives past, it'll explode. Okay, okay. It doesn't explode for infantry. So this is reducing it like the. Uh, into the kill zone for an ambush. Uh, I can't seem to uh, defuse that.
but there's also the other way to place it. We would put middle of the road. Magnetic influence. The uh, if a vehicle drives over it, blow up like that. All right. Okay. That's how it's laying down for that. So what are the um, advantages and disadvantages of, of both? Well, the advantage is just purely for these mines are so that we can have automatic detonations, like as a mechanic that we can use. But I don't know, I guess on the side of the road it'd be better for taking out the tires of a light vehicle. In the middle of the road I just do more damage to the engine or the hull. Okay. some testing with that and the explosion won't destroy wheels if they're any more than like this far away so if they're on the opposite side of the road this won't do any damage but it will detonate all right okay Also wanted me to go for LAT and Grenadier, but uh, Nine's not here, so we could go to the LAT range, or we could try something different. Just standing around and talking. I don't, I don't mind. Um, wouldn't mind do something a bit more interactive, I guess. Hunt the CI, that'd be cool. <laughs> Can anyone defuse these? It's right, but I get no. No, I can't defuse it. I don't even get like a little dot next to it to no. interact with it. No, I don't. You're just too good at placing explosives, Steve, that's the problem. It's so well hidden. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I do get the... Uh, you know, these, the these landmines always look like egg timers to me. Egg timers? <laughs> looks like, looks like a mini speaker or something. What we can do is pretend we're grenadiers. We can treat these as like, uh... ordnance that we need to get rid of... completely. So what we could do for that is... Demolition block instead of defusing it. All right, okay. They just set a demolition block in between them. Pull that up. Who's doing the place it? <laughs> okay. Yeah, firing device on there. It's all back away. Okay. It's the coyote. Oh, fuck's sake. We done that on purpose. <laughs> Ooh, Whoa! Also that. <laughs> you can just shoot them. In the hole. Right now I'm injured. Where oh, are you? Yeah, did you get blood splatter and my screen's flashing white? I'm gonna go into yeah, hit yeah. Him, you know? yeah, hit in the arm. No, <laughs> oh, the fuck? Couldn't get in your. Uh, I was fucking behind the block. I'm on the right leg. 
Jeez, oh. The morphine already. Morphine. Nobody gave them. You got flashing uh, white on your screen. Who? Your gang girl. He's not responsive. Yeah. yeah. So you have uh, white flashes on your screen. Yes. Giving you morphine. It's going down, so I have to keep an eye. My screen ain't flashing anymore, so. Okay. So, uh. Well done. Kinda <laughs> wanted to explain, like, the straining. Because, uh. It wasn't very well. I hear my heartbeat. Okay, and I'm bleeding means... again. Hearing his heartbeat means. low. <laughs> low heart rate. So you just give epinephrine. Oh, oh, diamond you know, dog, tell first. your wife I love her. <laughs> 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 what? <laughs> so are you guys more comfortable running as engineers and medics? Yeah, definitely, yeah. It's one of the main yeah. reasons why I chose an engineer. I love Goal being an engineer. accomplished. <laughs> I like, was going to uh, sort of combine everything into uh, planning an ambush or something, because that would engage. So was like asked me to try to get that LAT and Grenadier. Okay. So LAT would be pretty useful. And then setting explosives. Uh, I'll be T one of the they shoot at targets and stuff. That's the combat training part. Um, but no, I, I have found this useful because I knew how to do, like, bandage wounds and stuff, but that's about it. Like, if somebody told me yeah. to, like, like, if a guy was unconscious and I had to try and bring him, I would, I would just, like, crumble. I wouldn't know what to do. So now, now I know what to do. I feel more confident. Yeah. So yeah, if nine were here, I would try to do sort of, like, Planning an ambush because that would engage engineer and LAT as well as kind of be a challenge for like communication. Okay. But uh, no LAT kind of defeats that. Yeah. Idea. So what we what we do next? I don't know yet. Still fucking bleeding. <laughs> we could. Go through the. Well. Any more questions about medical or engineer first? Uh, no, I think just cover all this, the kind of basics and stuff that I think I need to know. So I'm quite happy with it. Yeah. We'll go to you. Has wire cutters. I don't know how yeah. those work. Oh, I've never used them. I've built like trenches and shit. I've done demos, but that's a part from what I've done. Yeah. I saw it done. Um. Uh, it wasn't the last mission, a, but the mission um, before. Yeah, mission a, um, three. I think. Oh, do you want to get like? Can you get an IED spawned in or something? 
can check the practice on that. A what? An IED. Or can can you defuse a demo block? Yeah, you can defuse any of the things in that crate. Does it does it all work the same way? You go up to it, interact with it, and select defuse. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So you don't need to learn like what wires to cut or anything. No, there's no actual. No, no, nothing like that. Best thing to do when you're dead, um, going to defuse us, but, like call up to it because it minimizes damage to you if it does go off. It also spreads your weight across the ground, so if it's pressurized, there's less pressure on the plate. Trigger. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. And then you just go up to interact. Diffuse and just let the bar run down, and then it's diffused. <coughs> About nine out of ten times, my CEO used to tell me once it's diffused, blow it up. Yeah. Like, uh. Diffusing is. I don't know. I don't really like it because. I like building it could just be remote detonated. So, roll up to it and it explodes anyway. Yeah, I see what you mean, yeah. Like, I mean, I'd, there could be some guy in a bush watching for someone to walk up to it. Right. We could go to the LAT range and shoot Carl stuff. Yeah, I'd, I'd happily do that. Nice. Learn the air burst. It's pretty intuitive as well, though. Yeah, we could do that. Still yeah, got well, under an hour or two, I think. Right? Yeah. Board up and drive to uh, RG base, then we can TP. Alright. Who's driving? I can't. Alright. I'll drive. Oh, sorry, sorry, me. Thought you were in. My bad. That's. Oh, shit. Oh, no. <laughs> what have you done? Yeah. What have I done? I'm sorry, sorry, me. Oh, check in the car. Got no injuries, all good. <laughs> I did, I'm sorry, man. I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> yeah, I, I was just impatient. I'm sorry. <laughs> man, I with the box gone. <laughs> I think uh, who will uh, get patched up by uh, Gambler Medic though. Before we go any further. Well, uh, I didn't. Um, Helio say there should be one at the um, the BCT. Yeah, let's go to base and then we'll figure it out. Okay. Let's hope those guys don't shoot us. <laughs> yeah, just park it to the left after the gate. Okay. Shoot me in the head and I'll spawn back in. <laughs> Angry, like, I couldn't hear you. 
I said I but you might as well just shoot me in the head. I'm back at base, I've just spawned back here. You spawn if you want. Yeah, go on. It's gonna take the pleasure and shoot me in the face. <laughs> I think you could just select like, respawn. I'd feel, feel bad for yeah. shooting them. <laughs> yeah, just. Escape. Fine, I'll do it the wimpy way. <laughs> the wimpy way. <laughs> Man down. Locked it. Put it on true and if Lockter's here. Oh, he's out. I need to go ahead for like two seconds. That's fine. We're just gonna go to uh, LA2. Okay. Well, let's go. You made me run like that idea just to run back up there. Good <laughs> exercise. <laughs> Make sure you switch your 343 back to channel 3. Yeah, I will. Once I get through, I'll sort it out. Where are we TPing to? LAT range. Right, oh, okay. Radio check. Just a second, I'm in Arsenal, I can't. Oh yeah, oops, uh, I sent it. Yeah, yeah. Should I just grab the uh, LED three from it? Mars and get the site. Okay. And um, yeah, what ammo should we take? Get heat, high explosive, anti tank. We're taking launcher, yeah? Yeah, take the M3. You guys can uh, select the carry all backpack and then. That's a pretty good idea. That. Yeah. Get extra rockets in there. Where's the ammo for this thing? Where do I locate the ammo for this? Launcher. Um, it should just be under the magazine. Ammo in the arsenal under magazines. I will say I I have to I'm like I can't run. <laughs> yeah. Too heavy. Uh, I don't have magazine oh. listed under the under the launcher.
if you have to go uh, to a backpack, then like, So, as the LAT, you'll have this rangefinder right here, and you press uh, tab and R at the same time, <coughs> and it'll take the range of whatever is in the center. Alright, okay. And then you can uh, refresh that with R. Or tab? Yeah, tab. So you know the range with this, yeah. or someone can tell you the range. Okay. And then, uh, nine likes to take the sight off. can't shoot with it on. There you I don't know if you guys have it, but there's a roll wheel option to uh, make the rocket explode before it has impact or something. So like in the air. No, oh. no, I don't have that. Yeah, maybe. Wow. Yeah. Maybe, maybe it's like you need to play. Yeah, it LAT. might be specific to the LAT slot. That would be useful for shooting at something that's like at the top of a hill, like over there. Okay. To the west. So you don't shoot over it. Worst case scenario, it just explodes over top. Uh, you guys can get target. Yeah, I'll sure. come Back blast is clear. I can give you some oh, okay. Camera. I don't select it anyway. Uh, your toolkit. Uh, sorry, Steve. Where would I find that? Um, those. Wait, well, maybe that like rangefinder thing. Yeah. You'd I spawn can't with it. All right. Okay. Yeah. No problem. I actually change weapons. Scroll. Yeah. M3 Mars. <laughs> it's this. This is just not working for me tonight. Scroll wheel is fucking working. <laughs> oh. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna have a shot here. Yeah, sure. Um. Make sure to be a black <laughs> Even for you. Even for yeah. you. Was the stand back. All right. Check, check shack tack and then also ask if it's clear. Okay. Um. Can you give me a range, Steve, of um, the house on the southeastern road, on the right-hand side of the road? The closer house, or...? Nah, it's like, if you... directly southeast from my position, but it's next to our road. The house? Yeah, that's the one. Second. Range is 590 meters. Okay. Alright, I'm ready to fire. So, clear black blast. Black blast clear. Firing. Oh man. Holy That's shit, pants. they hit me over here. Damn. Did I get used to me? Oh man. Yeah, it hit me. <laughs> oh, I, should, I must have a sound against you tonight. Can't believe I missed though. <laughs> <coughs> Does it even? I just I had the zero in up to six hundred. Try taking the sight off. Do okay. All right. Okay. All right. Clear black mast. Clear. Firing. That was closer. This high. I'm gonna have I'm gonna have one more shot at it. <laughs> I want to take it out. All right, uh, clear back, back blast. It's clear. Oh man. No, 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 I'm gonna. I'll let someone else have a shot. Clear 
your back blast. Clear. Fire. Overshot it. Should we go for the helicopter? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Clear back blast. Clear. I think you hit it. I got short. Oh man. Alright, who's next? I'm gonna use it with the bandit thing. Bandit thing, bandit. Okay. What, uh, actually this is a quick question, what kind of damage does the black, the back blast do? Can it, can it kill someone? Like, uh, is yeah. it probably fatal if you, say if like I was right yeah. behind someone. Well, you can be up against a wall and it'll kill you. <laughs> Alright, okay. So I'm assuming it can kill someone that's behind you. I also, well. uh, saw a guy who, like, crouch under this. At a plane? Yeah. Or, uh, at a, at a, <laughs> that plane. was me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, way to go. <laughs> I thought well, I wasn't played then, but yeah. I didn't put a die from it. I just injured my leg. Yeah, but also, yeah. Yeah, watch out for that. And I don't know how I got hit. I was standing like here. And I got hit, so. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure how the hitbox for that works. That's the second time my, my leg it hurts from back blast. Like you said, An uh, Andrew's got you. Horrible memories, man. Horrible memories. <laughs> Are you functioning yet? I'm using the numbers. I'm not fucking using the scrolls. This doesn't work for me to choose weapons for some reason. So who's up next? You are. Okay. I would be nice. That'd be cool seeing them flying around with their own logos. That would be nice. Pick a target and I'll give you the range. <laughs> <laughs> Is that your, your master plan? The red roofed hut on the corner of the road directly in front of us. Straight ahead. I don't know if you can see. You know where Bet. you shoot that a bit up higher? Left. Yeah, that's it. Oh, yeah, okay. 490 meters. Yeah. How far is it? 490 meters. Clear back out back last. That's clear. Short. Ah, that's me out loud. Disable them. They won't explode. Can I have the range on the far east thing? Farthest? Uh, no, no, the one against the wall. Sorry, I didn't. Between that one or. The one back there. Uh, yeah, take the one next to the little house. Okay, yeah, there's one behind the house. Too. But the one against the wall is 500 meters. The one next to the Talking about the one behind the house. Yeah, the little.
ceremony and everything, we'll get some more yeah. fixed spaces and get all the squads full. I know we've got some more recruits coming through and stuff, so. Yeah. Well, we've used it. Can I have uh, another shot? I would like that shot. <laughs> okay. Um. Did yeah, did Stoney manage to take out the tank? Is, is no, he hit it. And uh, he hit the table. Or? Or? Well, he hit the rear armor, so you might have damaged the engine. Okay. Um, I, I'll go for the the tank that was a bit that's a bit closer, the one that further to the yeah, northwest. Huge. So many that's uh. Full task. Four twenty. Four twenty. Right. Yeah. Four. Okay. All right. Uh, clear back last. Death there. Uh, Arctic box. Is that D five? Oh, bugger. Five. Yeah. Four, five, five. Fuck D D four was death value. That was, that was terrible. Okay. Clear black uh, last. Arctic box was good. I remember being. Do you remember the clear. bit when? I don't know who was who's in it. Oh man. I don't know about that one. Vegas was set to hold the to the north yeah. the room. I keep on. I think I need to practice saying okay, clear there, black so back so blast. It's, it's like a tongue twister. I keep on messing up. We were kind black of blast, yeah. <laughs> and we just refused yeah. to move. It's like. We killed like, we killed like hundreds of infantry, tanks, helicopters. We shot everything down. We killed the white house. Yeah, I remember that. Absolutely yeah. ruined that section. Look at all those other. I think we're both just in that one. Cutlass squad lead, I think. Yeah. Mm. Oh, I was. I was still sleeping Cutlass at the time, yeah. Yeah. What, you weren't doing anything, Steve? It was, it was. I don't know what we should do yeah, next. There was, there was no Zeus in here. I we can't go over a Grenadier. Yeah, we could, yeah. but not practically. Nah. Yeah, I think I was in I was in the camera mode and yeah, I wasn't a lot left, that's for sure. Yeah, it was good fun. Yeah, it was good fun. Yeah, you pick it up. Keep your head down for a lot of people. Not me. Yeah, not locked out, I agree with that. Essentially, if uh, you decide you're not happy with AUR, say it. Although um, I quite like it. Like, I like just like not. <laughs> it sounds silly, but not having to aim. <laughs> like just like not having to be precise or anything like that. I l I, yeah, I like that. I like um, and it's not an overly complicated rule. Like. Yeah. The main thing is just that the AUR. It's just the it's just the gun, really. Your job is to point and shoot. Yeah, exactly, exactly. I'm waiting for my Christmas bonus. Uh, stop me if you don't like medic. Yeah, fine. Uh, Days of Christmas. No lies. I uh, played for engineer, but uh, I got a chance for medic, and I really quite like it. But yeah. I there's mean, you can just pick it up and then, uh, if someone volunteers to take the role there, if you can get you a GV there, then that's possible. Like, I'm getting used to it. Yeah. Yeah. Like, uh, somebody we need to actually, like, do stuff oh, rather than. 
Yeah, talk about stuff. Yeah, most balls. frustrating thing is like when you I don't get balls. people up. Like I, I had two people on Sunday that I didn't two case door. didn't get up. I had to get a like hats, uh, t-shirt, medic, games, and everything. And, yeah. Yeah, that always fun. You know. <laughs> I guess Civ Six. <laughs> then you're like, fuck, am I doing something wrong or but something yeah, just I'm out of my hands? I guess I won't get any work done. I, think, I think that's part of being a medic that I would struggle with is learning when to be hands off and not just like pump them full of like epi and more stuff like that I'd be like oh he's not waking up he must be something must be wrong <laughs> it, yeah. usually if someone needs morphine like everyone has morphine so they can just give it to themselves and they can bandage themselves up if they get shot once or twice I don't know like it didn't work like I was doctor and then later on Oliver, I could I just yeah I couldn't get them up. Yeah. A matter so of time, sometimes for pain to fade, for heart yeah, rate, blood pressure to stabilize. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> well, we didn't go over yeah, was uh, CPR. Uh, so if there's no heart rate, anyway. but they're still like there. Yeah, you can see the too many player tag. Someone to do CPR constantly until there's a heart rate. So how does it work? Would you, when you're interacting with like uh, someone, does it just give you the option yeah, to do? It? It'll yeah. be medical menu, and then you click their chest. All right, okay. Then you'll, uh, they done the same on the CPR. Oh, uh, uh, no, it's. Uh, I'm sure it is. Yeah, this is like full on. Like yeah, I think it is. You gotta like get me out of here. I was trying to convince yeah, Isaac that we actually need to, uh, hey, we're get getting a like box. little we're a box full of grenadier yeah. stuff put yeah. down. Oh, okay. Sorry, what was that, Steve? Mini what? Like objectives, Any good ones things that are applicable to uh, Sunday missions for trainings. Oh, so you mean like everyone needs to be able to do this and stuff like that? So like but everyone, everyone yeah, needs to know CPR. I mean, like we can just train assaulting or defending or using vehicles, stuff like. That. Yeah. Okay. Because what uh, Blade and Dusk did today was like a beach assault with the uh, their the landing craft. All right. K10. Okay. Yeah, stuff like that. Nothing worse. Also, need to figure out our roles for uh, vehicles. Like who I takes gunner, who drives. Yeah. Ask for the uh the tracer <coughs> mag, so you took it one tracer mag and just a mark building. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff on the list. You couldn't do anything else. Cool. Yeah, the, the the building, the orange room. Block Eden. Yeah. <laughs> How many buildings are down there with terrifier groups? Only yeah, two, two, three, four, four five. There's so there at least fourteen. You can basically see the one that looks Mediterranean. Yeah, that one. Ah, yes. Oh yeah, there we go. Uh, let me. Am I ready just to dump my stuff on the ground? Yeah. Wait, do these guns actually have grenade launchers? Yeah. Eagle. They don't. Yeah, they do. Oh yeah, they they do. Yeah, the Eglon does. Sure. Yeah, I dropped mine from there. You'll be alright, Trey. You've been here enough, mate. You can see what you're doing. Right. Set on back. Yeah. Oh, God, that's the worst, isn't it? The only reason I haven't been able to make part of PC is that when I lose a lot of my findings. Okay, just yeah, to start just things. Yeah. I'll catch you guys later. Yeah. 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 
what you're shooting at. Um, well, let's see where it lands. <laughs> no, I'll tell you. <laughs> I thought that <laughs> building. <laughs> is, there, is there none with, um, there's none with launchers left? Or are they? Oh, it's the Eagle. Probably. Yeah, it's three points. The picture doesn't have it, but it's there. Shooting downhill. Trajectory a little bit. Chill out for a second, though. See that house there? Yes. That's what we're going for. Alright, okay. That is a... 350. It's about 340 odd meters away. Okay. Are we taking it in turns, or just keep firing? Uh, take it turns. Five minutes will get first. Alright. Firing. Oh, a bit short. Not bad. Slowly. me. Oh, I think nice. you smashed the window. Nice. Gangrel. I don't have a launcher. <laughs> yeah, they're in the box. In the box there. See, I don't know where that's going to go because I haven't had a chance to range in yet. Oh, Boom! No. It's out the window. Uh, it's just on the roof, I think. Sweet. Yeah, it's named <laughs> first try. <laughs> of Grenadier. <laughs> EGML. Yeah. Let's see if I can hit the church. Yeah, you have one. Where's the church? Oh, I see, I see. What's the range? Church? No idea. Might walk. I, know, I think it's maybe about well, like 400 meters. I got at one point I was pretty good. I could eyeball things. Like pretty much first or second. Yeah, there you go. On top of the church. I think I went over. Did it? Nah, it hit the back roof. I don't know if I feel comfortable shooting at a church. Sorry, don't worry, <laughs> I do. Come out of ammo. Yeah, the ability to like just hit something. Let's have a go. Does um standing or crouching affect anything with a grenadier? Nope. No. Yeah, but if you want to range, like you can put so much, such consistent fire down. Like if everyone ranged in on that house and we all just took it in turns to fire, by the time I've fired and reloaded, like it'll be my turn to fire again. You can literally have a constant rain of grenades coming down. I mean, like, that'd be terrifying. Who is that Grenadier? Is it Oliver? Yeah. Right. yeah. I've personally never seen him use 40 meter. <laughs> I love it. Like, I, I trade for Grenadier 
any day of the week. I fucking love dripping 40 miles on things. Well, maybe you'll want to change it, like try something else. Like, like if we were assaulting this place, like, if we could identify targets before we went in, I could flatten them. <clears throat> Can the, uh, the 40 mil grenade take out things like sandbags and stuff? And like, maybe like uh, light machine gun emplacements? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, definitely. So, right, in fact, while we're all here, let's do some theory exercise. Right, okay. We are on this position here, and we need to take an assault. We need to assault and take uh, the church in the centre of that town. So, just get your maps open. We can have a look at what is going on. So, are you all close enough to see the finger pointing thing if I do it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll be able to do it. <coughs> right. Okay, so we're up here. Church is here. Put a marker down. I know this route has pretty decent bounding. Right, so first thing we need to do is establish an overwatch position. So we've got good cover, obviously. And then draw in blue for cover. We should probably pick like a colour code so everyone knows what the lines mean whenever they're drawn. Yeah, that, that would be a good idea actually. So that arc there is a good point to hold. It's a few metres, it's about 60 metres left of where we are. Down there. Yeah. Oh, bloody free look. that is going to be very problematic because there's not much cover. So there is a second potential holding point for you guys uh, for the support. We did yeah. this uh, like the exact same thing like four months ago. Yeah. So I, mean, I have a pretty good idea. Not on this particular town or? Ex like this exact thing, that church and everything. Yeah. So point that you should be able to look at your maps and identify so you should be able to look at that yeah so survey what's going on open your map and identify a possible route of attack so if you so Steve if you go green if you color if you draw in green on the map diamond if you take uh, white gangrel if you take red and then just throw me, I think that leaves you with yellow. Is that right? Yeah. Sure. Uh, so if you guys draw your sort of what you would think is a good route of attack. So can I so just like check? So are we saying we're holding everyone's in this position here? And we're uh, and we're, we're deciding. starting from we're gonna start from where we are now. Okay. So up at the lat range. So you can go I mean like you could take it the other way off the back of the hill, down and round through the valley, like that. You could bound sort of like on the far side of the hill, down here, down and round. But kind of just that was what I was thinking. Just take a look at your. I'm gonna take a quick look around. Yeah, take a look around. Have a few minutes. Because I think I the point. Draw, then. Uh, pick a colour in the top right, and then hold control. Got an when this tool first came out, um, we were on a public Tanoa Wasteland server, 
and the map was a state. Like, we, we drew like a giant like portrait of Ollie, like of Oliver King like, on the map, and like, I'll find a screenshot and send you guys afterwards because it's an absolute disaster. Well, that's what I'll do. I'll go from that position, I'll go way around the back to there. We can TP back, right? No, we can TP back. There you go, that's how I'll do. Is everyone ready? Yep. Right. Diamond uh, drill RTB. Yeah. Best. We've got like two seconds. All right, okay. Don't talk through your idea quick. Um, well, I would move the um, support team up to the um, well, the area part of the map, um, and then send the assault team right behind them, behind the mountain, to our northeast, and then creep in through the kind of wooded area where the tanks are, and then there's some 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 cover there, the walls and things like that. Maybe leave two men just overlooking and send uh, like three guys into the church itself. Gangrel. Yo, what would I do? Yeah. Um, well, I'll move down to the uh, the low side of the uh, of this hill. There's like a wall running near two buildings. I'll bound from the rear of the uh, top of this hill all the way around to that. And then from that I'll, run to, I'll go to the top of the, um, and I'll start bounding down to from to the uh, East side of the church through the buildings. Cool. So, like, my idea would be to go uh, southwest from here, down the valley. Because if you look down the valley, you've got it's a slight depression, so you should be able to sneak along it. Uh, you've got sporadic vegetation, and you can hit the edge of town away from the objective and infiltrate, and then end up on that building. I'll mark them in like green um, or something. How do you um, point? I've got. Just click and hold. See so yeah, in those two buildings I've marked with green and green. Oh, a point like that. Shift. Yeah. Just shift till. See, so yeah, you'd end up in that. In that building. Uh, with, like, converging angles onto the church. What would hold. Uh, there. Yeah, so I was thinking, like, coming around from the back, the back of this hill to that position now. Yeah. Uh, work our way down the wall, and then make get cover into these trees and work our way forward. Yep. Like to that that wall there and then cut through that. That was copies. And that one over there. But copies. That was copies. The squad leader told us to literally wedge formation from here straight at that church that it would be a bad idea, right? No, yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm just checking. So everyone right. has but the point is, if so, so if you were in a si if we were in a situation where we had to come up with a really rapid plan of attack for that town, each of us would have an idea and we'd be able to come to a coherent plan. Really yeah, quickly. and I don't think it would take very long, like thirty seconds at the most, to come up with a plan better than wedge formation at the church. I think you yeah. could quickly say, right, one team get to that, get on top of that hill, overlook the rest of you, crouch down and stay low and behind me or something like that. All right. You can 
we have a habit of going in straight lines at things. So yeah, we're getting yelled at to our two Trust me, if anyone gave me an order that would kill me, I'll turn go away. <laughs> Right, Unless that order was kill Locter and Hamley follow it. So let's be fair, he's not he's not gone, he's, he's taken off the plane, so we don't know this decision is yet. So. Oh well let's wait and see. Does it have to be monthly? Yeah. <laughs> 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 You'd know all about now, isn't it? Touche. Did you want to be helping us? I think so. Yeah, it's a good thing. I think it's a good thing. 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 No, I don't want to pass up to it. Thank you. No, I'll be sorry. This is a Yeah, no worries. Nice to have you here. The DA is shooting belt. Tell him. Right, they probably meant to shoot a thermal unit at some stage. Yeah, I, I, I did warn them. I, I did warn them. They get pegged as enemy all the way through them. Sorry, Stab. I'm having to remove all the AI in my base for the uh, talent's safety. <laughs> 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 Cool, right, I think uh, pretty much everyone is back, so uh, nice work, hope you all had a good uh, training today, the Lieutenant Colonel is back, so I'm just going to pass over to see if he's got any announcements that he wants for the end of training. Andrews. Gents, yes please, I thank you for that, I just want to say, uh, gentlemen, that obviously the raffle prices went up really, really late this year, and I apologise to everybody for that, I did sign a Sunday, I'm doing a game, all went up on Sunday, there's some great prizes there, if you haven't already, go to the raffle Register in your squad to win your t-shirt or your badge or whatever for you. And if you have supported through the deployment months of October, November, please join that grand prize raffle because we're going to be doing that this coming Sunday. Quite frankly, you should all should have an opportunity to win it. And if you are donating this week, because the prizes went up so late, an extra couple of days until Sunday, it's three, four days until Sunday, to chuck something. That's everything for me. Other than that, just see you. So
so looking forward to the most in it. Wow. Alright, well said. Yeah, thanks Andrews. Uh, just two very quick reminders. Remember merits and ribbons, make sure you give them to your officers so they can be signed up for Sunday. Uh, and the NCO meeting at uh, leader's office uh, straight after this. So have a quick rundown of what everyone has been doing for their training today. I'll start with Gambler Aaron. Oops, sorry. Take that again. Uh, yes, so we had a bit of a slow start. Apologies for paying for that, but um, we ended up doing some CQB and uh, we were not ready. Coffee, you played? Uh, we were running with DOSAC with Amphibious Assault. Sorry, on that side. <laughs> yeah, no worries. If you can't hear, you want to you know, jump in the, the middle and uh, just near Daniel Mother Mother too. Yeah, just uh, following guys. Cut this. We did combat casualty care, as well as explosives, detonations, LAT, millimeters. Copy that, yeah, I saw a bit of that, some explosions going on. Sounded but, nice. Uh, <laughs> it did sound a bit deadly. Um, that's it. Uh, we did amphibious insert and amphibious assault along with Blade. Uh, was a bloody laugh, really enjoyed it. Cheers yeah, for everyone for coming along. The helicopters looking really nice, those amphibious uh, vehicles. I'll catch up with you after at some point just to uh, go over with you ha how they're kind of operating and uh, what the issues are. It'd be, be good to catch up on those. Yeah, right that. Uh, Vegas. Uh, we tagged along with Dusak and uh, Blade for the initial amphibious training. Uh, and then we did uh, submerged and underwater demolitions for the rest of the training. Nice, that sounds interesting too. And uh, finally, Tanner. Copy that. Uh, I appreciate the offer of a lift for uh, ground forces at the end there as well, Gemma. Thank you very much. Alright, guys, that's it. Remember, D8 pack needed for this Sunday. It will be our deployment ceremony where we pay each other on the back. We hand out lots of uh, nice ribbons for you all for the last four weeks. So, uh, this is, uh, well, for me anyway, while we do the deployment. So, hope you've had great fun over the last four weeks. Make sure you're here on Sunday. It will be a shorter than normal. Uh, we will be doing a game of What's the Time Mr. Derby afterwards. Hopefully, the Derby's going to be here. So, it should, uh, should be good fun. Otherwise, have a great week and, uh, and see you Sunday. See you on Sunday. See you on Sunday.